it's always nice to hear a different opinion. Yeah, but it, Taj's opinion, though, like, you. Fair. Just saying. If I wanted someone to pause in the middle of sentences and make nonsense about stuff we've talked about in the past, then I would invite him. Very true. <laughs> um, speaking of inviting him, comes naturally. We are. Go. I'm Cody, and that's it for today, folks. Um, yep, just us. Just the two. Just the two of us. <laughs> waking, waking if we try. Ooh, what you drinking? Is that kombucha? Drinking uh, strawberry lemonade kombucha. Oh, my God. Is that the yeah. fries one? Yeah, the simple truth. Oh, yeah. my God. Look at you drinking. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I've never actually had a real, like, actual kombucha before, so I'm not too sure what it actually is. Uh, it is fermented tea. Really? Yeah. Does it taste funky? Uh, it, it tastes uh, somewhat, if you don't mix it up, it tastes pretty funky, but if you actually, like, shake it up like it, it, it's meant to be, uh, it, it tastes really good. It kind of tastes like it could be alcoholic, but it's not supposed to be, uh, well, it's 0.5% alcohol by, val- by volume, but you don't need to be carded for it, because it really doesn't have that much alcohol in it. 5%? That seems like a lot. Point point five percent. Oh, point five percent. Oh, okay. So you'd have to drink a lot of that. You'd be way more hydrated than you'd be drunk, even if you drink a lot of it, huh? Exactly. Yeah, but it's got probi- live probiotics in it, so you know, it's supposed to be good for your gut. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I have a couple every week. They're, they're really good. I like them. Help with your uh, your poop. You know, just got to keep things in order. Yeah, you know. At our advanced ages. Yeah, right. Got to make sure that just everything stays uh, uh, up to code. Up to code. You know. Okay. I guess so, man. Right. Um, What is happening here? What's going on, buddy? Honestly, besides uh, reading about the uh, Justice League thing, uh, just that because it got a release date, which was I'm spacing out on something on May, was it? Yeah, whereas I just saw the thing, and then you were just talking about how it got uh, an R rating, uh, which would be pretty cool to see exactly what he added to it or well, what he made of his own stuff, uh, to get it to be R rated. Uh, I mean, the, the other than the reported f bomb that um, Batflex supposed to have, but that's not enough to be an R. No, oh, I, I can't imagine it would be. That'd be fucking strange if it was, right? Um, I saw a thing. I saw the poster. Yeah. Right, the poster had the thing with the stuff on it. Yeah, and I can't, uh, uh, Batman versus Superman. Why would you do that? Wasn't it? No, sorry, Justice, Justice League. God damn, I'm tired. Apparently. How to watch it on HBO. March 18th. March 18th. That sounds right. It's on the poster I just looked up because I sent it to you guys the other day. That's a good idea. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, other than really learning that, uh, haven't really been, haven't really seen much in the news for movie stuff. Not really. Or really even any video game stuff. I've been playing uh, Control. Actually, I just finished it today. Oh, what do you think? Uh, it's it's an okay game. You know, it's an okay game. Uh, I really like the, uh, well, I would like to say I really like the story, but uh, I had this weird glitch 
later in the game, probably about halfway, literally halfway through the game, where the in-game cutscenes would have no voice audio whatsoever. So it's just people moving their mouths. Oh, and no subtitles, so that's fun. And what sucks about it is a lot of times that would happen, like, halfway in between checkpoints. So if I were to quit out, quit out of the game completely and go back in, I'd have to redo a large chunk of the the game in order to get back to that that, uh, in-game cutscene in order to do it. Uh, So that, yeah, I picked up today, so that happened, like, most of yesterday. I picked it up today, quit the game out, redid it. Audio was working for, like, halfway halfway through the uh, my play session for today and then suddenly just cuts out at the end towards the end there so I really have no idea what a lot of this plot was about at all I know it's already confusing because it was already a really confusing game to begin with yeah uh, but the fact is that I didn't get any of like half the voices in any of the cutscenes was was super strange and then there was there were parts towards the end that I think you weren't even supposed to get voices because even the, the the background audio cut out but i don't know i couldn't tell you because of everything else that had happened before uh the game was really is is somewhat fun with the powers that you get in it but it was super annoying that you don't have like auto heal abilities so a lot of times i would get out of a firefight and like have just a little tiny bit of health left, Scoach. but I have no way of healing myself. The only way I have of healing myself is if I kill a guy, and they drop these health shards, and then you have to collect the health shards. So you can imagine like having only a little bit of health, and then running into the next battle in order to try and kill someone so that I can get health. Probably isn't very you know going to end up very well. Uh, but with that said, the game is somewhat forgiving. There are section like multi-stage sort of boss battles that you get into and if you happen to get pretty far into it and die you do spawn at the nearest checkpoint and you do have to run all the way back there but at least you don't have to do the first few stages of the of that fight you can mm. just run back into the stage that at the beginning of the stage that you were doing that you died at gotcha so a little bit forgiving and i actually i i, I started it this week I think it was. But, yeah, I want to say I started on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, and uh, I'm already done with it. So it wasn't wasn't a very long game. Hmm. I actually kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, and mind you, I really didn't do any of the story, the side missions. I did a couple of side missions. Uh, there was one that was like incredibly pissing me off because it, it just basically drops you into the the into the middle of a boss battle right away. <laughs> Oh, and good. the boss battle was just like super awful to a point where like he would he just has a one of those attacks where he comes out and he tries to hit you he's like this giant fucking cockroach one-eyed cockroach looking thing but he puts holes in the ground every time he swings at you but because you're looking up at him because he's damn near like seven stories tall and running around back and forth i'm not paying attention to the ground i was just constantly dropping through uh holes in the in the uh in the concrete and just dying instantly so you die go back to the checkpoint have to run back to the area that he's in <laughs> repeat 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 and finally i was just like this is a side mission where i don't really get anything out of uh so i'm not doing this and i'm not doing any other side mission because it was also incredibly frustrating to figure your way around that place they would literally be like yeah just go here but not give you like many waypoints on where to go you just kind of had to know where to go yourself you could follow the the signs that they would have up like venom like like you would at an airport or something you know ventilation room is this way you'd run that way but there was one point where i had i was trying to find my way into black rock processing i think it was and uh the map sucks because it's not it's not a three dimensional thing. It's only two dimensional, so I don't I don't get a good idea of like what's bottom floor, what's top floor of a floor plan type thing. So there's one point where I'm just following the arrows, and it literally goes black site black site uh, processing up this way, and I'm like that's that's a wall. I don't 
What do you mean up that way? Just That's climb the wall. wall. Just climb the wall. It's fine. Just climb the wall. That's all I'm supposed to do. Just climb the wall. So the, the your directions, like it could have so much, it could have benefited a, a lot from just like a stupid waypoint system. Just a little, like in like in the division, like the divisions waypoint system is so much better Oof. than than this. Yikes. And we all know how confusing and awful that could be. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Overall, interesting and fun game. Uh, it ties into Alan Wake, which I really love that game. Yeah, I heard that was uh, a pretty a lot cool thing. Little Alan Wake uh, stuff here and there, and I wish it came with the because it's the Game Pass version. I wish it came with the DLC. Mm-hmm. For some reason, the PlayStation version comes with because it's the Ultimate Edition. You get the DLCs to go along with it, but whatever. Hmm. Maybe eventually someday they'll they'll get uh, the DLCs on Game Pass. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, I was there's a. I want to say it's Demon Souls two. That does something similar to that where, you you pick this one. Like, oh, I'm gonna go do this side like side quest thing. Was it or was it Bloodborne? I can't remember which one it was. And then you go and you're supposed to you go into this like uh, temple like this the like there's a temple and you're supposed to go like. Hey, they found this secret entrance on the on the side. If you go through, and you, uh, there's this like rock face that you can walk. I don't remember what it was, but basically you go in, and it's the, like, the crypt entrance, and it's just a boss fight, and it's just giant fucking dude with an axe, mm-hmm. and instantly as soon as you go in the room, the bar just pops up, and you hear the music. You're like. Oh oh no! And he just starts swinging an axe at you. You're like, oh cool, dead. Yeah. Oh okay. Uh, cool, cool, bro. I'll be back in a second. Just kidding. I'm never doing this one again. Um, but that's come. To, you 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 expect that out of Demon Souls. Like there yeah. were just so many points in this game. And again, I found it relatively fun because it was short, uh, and a lot of times. Once you would come back to an area, you know, if you died in an area, you'd come back to it. And for some reason, it seemed like it might be a little bit easier. Like the game just kind of went, eh, okay, we're going to tone this down a little bit. But there was so many times that I would get hit by something and just be like, dead, you know, life goes half and then get hit again and dead. And it's like, wait, what? How did I just die so quickly? And now I have to do this all over again. You motherfuckers. Oh, okay. And just compounded with the fact that I just can't, like, you know, stab a stim pack into myself and heal myself, you know, was awful. They have a weird cover system, too. And I, sh- I shouldn't even say it's a cover system. It's literally just a duck system. You just duck behind things the best you can. But every time you go to shoot, it's not like you can just pop up, you know, like not like you can aim and then she pops up to shoot and then let go, and she ducks back down. No, it's like aim, and then that's it. You have to hit the crouch button again in order to go back down. It was It's just so... Oh, so it locks you strange. up out of cover? Yeah, it just locks you up out of cover. So, so strange. Hmm. So, yeah. Weird little mechanic. Um. Mm-hmm. Oh, spe- I, I was saying, when you were talking about audio glitches earlier, so... Uh, the Xbox Series X has uh, a feature that basically lets you jump back into games like where you left off, like without like having, you know whatever. Like you can just pause the game and like come back and play a different game and come back and that's gonna be there, right? Um, mm-hmm. So one of the upgrades to uh, Destiny Two that's supposed to add that, right? I knew it wasn't gonna work because like anywhere you're in the game is essentially is gonna be an on like you're on a server somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So they can't just like let you stay on a server. So I knew that wasn't going to work, right? So whatever. What's weird to me is it didn't work from the title screen. Okay. So I got done playing the other day and uh, on Tuesday, right? Was it Tuesday? Yeah, it had been Tuesday. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to play a little bit later. So instead of closing the game out like I normally do, I just went to the title screen. Not that it takes forever for it to load up from nothing to the title screen, but I was like, whatever. 
And then I came back and it they like, hey, you've been disconnected from the servers, re log in and I was like I'm on the title screen, bro. Like I haven't even selected a character yet. And then so I was like, whatever, right? So then it gives me the hey, click your which whoever you are on this Xbox and I was like, Well, there's one person, so it's me. Uh and right. then I went through yeah, I was like, so then I ch- I chose my my warlock and I started playing, and I'm going, and I realize there's like I'm like this sounds weird. Like I'm looking at my like audio, I'm like my receiver, I'm like what the fuck? I like, turn it up. I was like, wait, there's no music. I was like, weird. what? I was like, whatever, right? And like, so then I, I load into uh, um, Europa, and I realize there's no audio except for sound effects and I was like this is eerie and weird like right because you're always used to having a little bit of music in there yeah constantly yeah Yeah. like you know when when in with destiny depending where you're going it changes that atmospheric music around and I'm like there's nothing and I was like this is unsettling because it's Mm -hmm. literally just creature noises and creaks of ice and I was like this is borderline a scary movie at this point. <laughs> and I was like, that's so weird. And I was like, maybe I'm just, my my brain's dumb or something. So then I completely exited the game, closed it out, started up. And then I realized when I went back into the menu, it didn't have the music at the beginning of the game either. So whatever that logout feat- like thing was, literally broke the audio of the game until I completely nice. reloaded the game. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, that's right. There's there's music throughout the title of the game, the title screens. I was like, that's fucking what a weird thing to be glitched out. Just right? music, like the button presses are still making noises in the menus, and then when you, like that, you know, like remember the Destiny, like you hover over something, you hear that like click, like that mm-hmm. you, before you tap on anything, the little cursor hits it, like like I think I think it's I guess the best way to say it is a click, but whatever I hit that and it's like it makes that and I can hear it and I was like. Well, it's weird. Okay, and but yeah, when I reloaded the game, it had music again. I was like, "Okay, this game is real weird without music. Real strange." Right. Um. Really, is nothing to talk about. Not Did, really, which is kind of nice. Sort of, kind of nice, but also like, I feel like I read a lot of news, but like, there's nothing. Special I read a lot of news on. too, but just nothing really interesting. Uh, I watched the uh, SpaceX uh, uh, Starship blow up. Oh yeah, 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 week. yeah. The the landing. Watched. Yeah. Uh, Whoever's idea of it is to try and turn that thing vertical in what looks to be like the last hundred feet. Come on, guys. Not the best choice, huh? Not the best choice. Seems like a weird thing. I only I only watched the the end of it. Right, right mm-hmm. when it blows up, I didn't watch the whole video because it's like forty-five minutes for the whole thing. Um, uh, and then you're probably watching a lot of pre-launch stuff. The actual yeah. launch is only ten minutes, five yeah. minutes, something yeah, like that. I five think... to ten minutes, somewhere in there. The actual yeah. launch, it goes up to about ten thousand feet, and then it just kind of goes uh, horizontal, and it falls back to earth like that. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to watch the part that everyone's talking about because I think I saw it on Reddit. The I big, the big uh, blowy uppy part? Yeah, the big kaboom. I was like, oh, shit, that did explode. God damn. Mm-hmm. God damn. Right. Um, oh, I suppose uh, also I, I read that uh, the Division, they, they launched the uh, Resident Evil stuff. Yeah, I got the up- I got the update on xbox and i was like "Mm, it's cool like you can get gear that looks like you are in like i can get leon kennedy's jacket or pants yeah i was like was it also claire claire redfield's pant uh, jacket or something like that yeah and i was like cool and they like gun skins or whatever and i was like you couldn't even introduce new guns like Yeah, I didn't know the guns part. I don't really care about that either, though. Uh, apparently, it was tied. It was supposed to be tied to a larger event that was supposed to happen last year, but because of the pandemic, uh, and I think it was the, just the pandemic, 
uh, it got canceled, and now we're just getting only a little bit of it. Ugh, great. Right? And that's the, speaking of this, I don't want to complain about stupid shit, but pandemic stuff, right? But it seems like the, like having the pandemic, having people work from home, shouldn't it be more productive at that point? I I question it myself because not necessarily more productive, but it's it's not like you can't program from home, I wouldn't think. Yeah. Like they're not rendering oh. anything crazy at home. Right? Like they're yeah. I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know. I, I just, just the I, idea of like I, I get it, there's probably like you know, there's a lot more logistics to it, but you have a computer at work. That's what you're working on. You more than likely have a computer at home. Why can't they just do it from home? I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure that there might be an actual good reason for it. Obviously, we're not game developers, so I don't really know. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I was like, I, I saw some, there was something else. Um, there was a delay of something. I don't remember what it was. And they're like, oh, this is being pushed back to summertime because of this, because of the pandemic. And I was like, you guys can't go anywhere and do anything. So shouldn't you be more hard at work doing this so people can stay home and not be out in the pandemic world also? Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Like maybe, maybe I'm just dumb and, People can't use like, cause like the like the Destiny stuff. They're like, we're taking a holiday break, and I was like, cool, all right. And people are like, oh, they could have spent that time fixing these stuff. I'm like, it's just a holiday break, dude. Like at the most two weeks. At least right. they they didn't say we're taking the like three months off because of you know the pandemic. They're just talking about yeah, not working during. Enjoy ourselves yeah, a like, little bit, yeah. yeah then we'll get back to fixing bugs and stuff. I was like, are you just Jesus, like, I mean, come hell, on. Even Cyberpunk is is still hard at work fixing their shit. Yeah, and having it and stopping it so you can't have a mod to have sex with Keanu Reeves. Apparently, I kind of agree with that, though. Yeah, he's a. You're not supposed to have sex with a living god. I've decided that. Right. Yeah. Get a life. You ever finish that game? Um, no. So I, uh, right so, after. So here's the deal: the pandemic. Uh... Yeah, do the pandemic. No, like when they. Uh, did you hear about the update that that broke save points? Yes. So uh, I didn't realize that was a thing that happened in the update, and so I I was like, oh, cool, they updated shit. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna play because this was after I got back from my vacation. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, cool, I'll play. And so I was playing and all of a sudden, like, I, I think it was, I went to fast travel back to my apartment and it kicked me back to the main menu and said that it was like, like the game, like aired out or whatever. It gave me some weird thing saying, Hey, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I reloaded it and it was back to my original save point from when I started like an hour ago. Ooh. And I was like, you lost all your progress. I was like, oh, that's weird. And I was like, maybe that just that's where it reloaded. Because you know, when you start the game back up, it kind of puts you where you were. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, all right, maybe it just thought that's where I was because I was trying to fast travel. But I was like, no, I wasn't at this point. Then I was like, all right, well, go, I'll go. I'll just get in my car. I'll drive back to my apartment, and then I'll see if I have that stuff. So I, I, I got uh, Jackie's bike, and I was driving back. I get to my apartment. And it won't let me open the door. Like the okay. the, the, the option's not there. And uh-huh. I was like, am I on the wrong floor? So then I went out and I was like, no, because there's the fast travel thing. And if I go down, there's the the gym. And I was like, this is weird. So I went back up and it still wouldn't let me open the door. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? So then I fast traveled from that point and it kicked me back to the main screen. And then when I reloaded... It put me back in my apartment, which is where I was the first time. And I was like, what just fucking happened? And then I read online, like, save points are getting corrupted. 
And I was like, well, I guess I'm stop. And then I haven't actually got back on to play. I know they just did an update like Saturday or something. The day before, yeah, something whatever like that, it was. Yeah. But I haven't got back on to play. Um, and I need to. Cause, but but the problem right now is I'm at the point where like all I have is multiple part story stuff which is going to be multiple hours or mm-hmm. or like don't do these side missions because you're going to die things. That's all I have left other than like bullshit ones. Um like you know like the the fucking cyber psycho whatever and I was like I just don't have enough time to sit there I say that I don't have time to sit there and I just played like two hours of Destiny so like I could have played <laughs> that but right. I'm like also like there's a difference between like just mindless shooting of aliens and their dumb faces and then playing like story driven fucking word porn with gunfights in between um, and I like the game. It's not like I, I don't like Cyberpunk. I actually enjoy it quite a bit. I think it's very fun. But, like, I end up either doing absolutely nothing, just wandering around finding random crimes, or I spend three hours on one mission that has two gunfights in it. And I'm like, I'd rather just do this. But then I'm like, I'm at the point where, like, there's parts of the city, like, there's, like, a level cap. You know, like, if you go there, everybody that could kill you is going to do it instantly which is not yeah. fun, you know? Like, I'm not a guy to stand back and just peck at someone until they eventually die. Which I've tried in that game. You can't do it. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, you well. Because even, like, the best guns do nothing if the person's out-leveling you. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Um, and I even said to, like, I said to, to uh, someone at work, I think I was talking to Brandon at work, I was like, the one thing that drives me insane about that game is their inventory system is fucking terrible. It's so terrible. It, the, and the thing that, that actually bothers me the most is when you sell an item or you dismantle an item, the cursor doesn't seem to stay where it was at. The mm-hmm. list, like, moves in a weird way and I don't understand it because all of a sudden I'm looking at something else and I'm like did I delete that gun or did I sell that like is this item and, really there and that goes back to what we've talked about before where there's literally no sound indicator to let you know that you de- deconstructed something yeah it just you just have that little uh, progress bar on your cursor and then it's done yeah and then if you so it's like there's no like animal brain you know thing that's just like ding you did it and it's like did I do it or not? What the hell happened here? Yeah, and the other thing that drives me insane too is if you do that and then you exit out of whatever menu is, your HUD then shows you, like, this is removed from your inventory. I'm like, why would you not show me that when I'm in my menu? So I had a bug uh, towards the, the last probably good third of the game that every time I exited out of my inventory system, even if I did not deconstruct anything, it would pop up with something that you deconstructed. It's like, you've got this, you gain this, you gain that, you gain this. And it's like, I didn't deconstruct anything. I literally just, I could hit my inventory, come out of the inventory and it goes, pop, you, you got this, you just got this, you got this, you got this. I'm like, the fuck? Yeah. You're like, oh my God. And it's not like I was actually getting stuff either. Yeah. It wasn't adding anything to my inventory. It was just a little pop-up. It was just that little pop-up saying that you deconstructed this and got this stuff out of it. And that was the last third of the game doing that. Uh, did you ever find it, have you found it frustrating that when you uh, craft bullets, it doesn't tell you how many bullets you've crafted? So you just sit there and go, well, I hope that I'm crafting enough bullets to, to, to hit the max. So you just sit there and craft, craft, craft. craft and then it doesn't craft, stop craft, you craft. from doing it. Right, you just sit there and craft infinitely. It just continues to use up your resources. Yeah. And it's not like it even drops on the ground. It just fucking goes off into the ether. Exactly. It's like, it, I was like, are you, what? why am, why is this a thing? Like, A, mm-hmm. it doesn't even show you on the screen how many you have at that point. You have to go back into your inventory, yep, backpack or whatever. You have to go back into your actual gun to see how much yeah. ammo you have. Yeah. Like, why doesn't it show you on that screen, like, this is how much you have? Mm-hmm. And then, like, let it go. Like, I could okay. If you had a thing saying this is how many you had on there, and then it didn't stop you from crafting, whatever. I could at least see it in there. Like, I know I can hold seven hundred bullets of this. I'll stop when I get to seven hundred. Right. 
But no, like, I think I spent like one time, I like, spent like 15, 20 minutes crafting all this ammo. And I was like, I was like, cool. All right. I had to have enough. I go back and I'm like, man, I think I made more bullets than that. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go back to a thousand. I'm going to get to a thousand. And I realized I couldn't go any higher than 700. I'm like, I just wasted all that shit because nothing. Uh, nothing. And I'm like, and the same thing to you. As I looked on the ground, I was like, well, I didn't drop anything. So I know there's not bullets sitting here. Yep. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, it's just weird shit like that. I was like, why? Like, why is it? That's a simple thing to say, hey, this is how many you can, like, 700 is your max. That you, can craft. you have 520. Cool, I made 80. You're at 600. Awesome. I made 80 more. You're at 680. I'll stop. I'm not going to waste. I'm like, oh, whatever. I don't know. It's so dumb. And, the and like, the – and I don't ever remember it happening – in Witcher, but did you ever get frustrated by the the like wonky physics of stuff in in uh, Cyberpunk, where like you kill someone, but like an item they're holding is now like in the ground or under a car uh, and you can't get it? Yeah, I've definitely had stuff like that, uh, or even just the like I'm looking straight at it. I want to pick up that thing right there, not that thing over there to my right that is almost off my view. I want yeah. to pick up that thing right there. So you look at it, you try and pick it up, and you end up picking up that thing over to the right. And you're like, why? Yeah, like my reticle's on this, this item. Right here. The number of times that I'm like, I want to collect that like little, uh, what were they, the shards? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm looking at it. It's not highlighting. It's highlighting something over here. So the, the weird like, hold on, I've got to jump up on this thing and crouch down and look around and then like, okay, I can kind of, and, okay, I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry about it. I got the shard. I can continue on the mission. Yeah. Yeah. I was the like, this number is... of times that that has happened is, is just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Like I killed this dude and he dropped something purple and it went under the car that was blown up and I couldn't move it and I couldn't get the item. And I was like, um, and then did you okay. know, I didn't realize it was a thing, but apparently there's a drop loot recovery thing that they do. So like drop if you're, whatever. so you know when you kill a bunch of people they drop shit or whatever right and like their bodies right. have stuff on them but like if you don't pick it up you would think it goes away right it doesn't there's like this weird built in feature that they don't tell you about and that I haven't seen anyone talk about and it's got to be at first I thought it was just something weird that was happening but like it was just too exact so basically I got in a gun I did this mission and I was like oh look there's bad guys over there. I'm going to go clean up the streets. So I went and killed them. But I accidentally shot a civilian through someone else because that's what happens. Mm -hmm. So the police yeah. showed up, right? Yep. And I was like, well, fuck your police drone. I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> Mistake number one. So then right. I got more and more police. Like, fuck it. I just, just booked it. I just cheesed it out of there. And I used my double jump to jump places. And I got away. And eventually all the stars went away. And I was like, I'm going to go back and pick that stuff up because I want that stuff. So right. I went back there where the dead bodies were. The dead bodies were gone, but there's this little bag, like takeout food bag, sitting where the body was that has all the stuff in it. Nope. Never saw that. And that's mostly because I just, if I had left the area, I left it. I didn't really care about that stuff. Towards the end of the game, I didn't give a shit about anything that was being dropped on the ground. Because it was more of a hassle to sit there and deconstruct yeah, it, no shit, than than to actually pick it up. Yeah, like they need to do a, what the division did with de deconstruction stuff, where I can mark it and then mm -hmm. deconstruct and then it all. Deconstruct everything, boom, done, or sell everything. Because that's another one uh, in that same vein where it's just like so annoying to sit there and sell stuff and sell stuff. Actually, I didn't even buy stuff after after a good point in time, like. I, I stopped modding my character because I didn't give a shit about the mods that were there. Like, I've seen people build some really awesome, high-powered characters with these mods, but to me, they were really pointless because I got through the rest of the game without any issues. Didn't need these mods at all. They would have just been like eh, maybe a little bit fun to play with, and that that's it. But I didn't want to have to go to. I, I found it too tedious to sit there and be like, okay, this Ripper Doc has 
this high end gear thing so I can ro go over here and get it and yeah, whatever. I I try I just used stuff that I picked up and that was it. Because for the most part I picked up everything that I really kinda wanted to play with. And that and the only thing I actually bought, I think, were uh the grill arms because I wanted to try and finish the uh the boxing yeah. uh one, which I got to the fine the, the final fight. Fuck that final fight. I quit. I just I was like, I'm done. This is not fun anymore. This is awful. Fist fighting in that game is atrocious. I, I get what you guys wanted to try there, but no, it was awful. Uh, and then I found, uh, or and then I bought the, the double jump stuff, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Mantis Blades. Um, the, like, the, the iconic that, ones. Yeah, I picked up those. Those were the ones that you could probably pick up from in the world. Yeah. Like, I went and done yeah. a bunch of those. Like, and those things are, A, you can have them along with weapons. So it's not taking a weapon mm -hmm. slot. It's just on, right? And they cool. fuck people up real bad. But they're really not that much fun. Like, it's no. funner to, like, blow people's limbs off with random guns that do weird shit. Or shoot through objects at people, which makes me feel like a fucking god anyways. I'm like, mm, you hide behind that wall? All of a sudden, I shoot through the wall? Fuck off. You know what I mean? Or like, right. you know, I don't know. It was weird. Like, they're bloody fun. And like, the charge up thing is cool when you lift them up in the air and you split them in half. But it's like, mm, eh. I'm not going to go running into a gunfight with them and yeah. almost get myself killed because of it. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. Uh, did you ever run into, I ran into, and I, I, I can't remember if I talked about this before. I ran into one mission that I failed. I completed every other mission that I attempted. Gotcha. There's one mission I failed, not for my own fault. It was a mission where you have to, it was just a side mission. You have to go and kill uh, a tiger claw uh, captain or leader or something like that. Whatever. Roll up to his his uh, his pad, and I just murder everybody in the in the building. And then I you have to pick up some sort of intel too. Pick up the intel, leave the area. Mission's not completing. What the hell? Go back in there. I, I killed him. I killed the dude. Like I'm standing over the dude's body. He's dead. He's dead. But it's not the mission's not completing. And then I realized. Wait. Maybe I just incapacitated him. Oh, yeah. So I shoot him again. Sure enough, I get the little bling, kill the guy. Still doesn't complete the mission. Jesus. So I walk away. I walk away, and I'm like, well, maybe if I walk away, it'll just auto-complete. It just maybe takes it some time to complete. Nope, mission fails. Hmm. That's interesting. The only mission I failed was, did you do the mission where, like, your dancer's neighbor is a cop and you have to like try to talk him down or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't go back in time to check on him the second time or third time or what it was. And he offed himself. No, I made it back in time. I, I talked to him. Probably wasn't the, the greatest outcome of that. He didn't off himself though. So I completed the mission. Just didn't probably get the best uh, outcome of it. Cause he, he threw me out of the apartment, whatever. Yeah, no, it's like still register is complete. Yeah, like mine, if I failed it, like because I didn't go back in time apparently to check on the third time, and like the two cops are out there and they're like, "Yeah, he killed himself." I was like, "Oh shit, the fuck!" Like I took two and a half days to come check on him the first time, uh huh. But this time I I come back in like an hour and he's fucking just eats a bullet or whatever. I was like, Jesus Christ. Then you find out his partner you're talking about is a dog. And I was yeah, like, right. I was like, bro, like, why did you, okay, whatever. I was like, all right, man, I guess I failed this mission. Cause I failed another mission, but that is reloaded this, the save point before that and redid it because like, it was one of those, like, uh, you had to like help this person get out of there or whatever. And like they flatlined before I can get to him or whatever. Cause like I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. So I just reloaded uh -huh. it, killed everybody again, went in there and did what I had to, and then saved her. And then, which is weird because then you put her in a 
fucking trunk of a car and some dude drives her away. I was like, I don't think that is much better than dying on that table up there because I don't know what that yeah, dude's going to do in the trunk. Complete. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I was like, sure, cool, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, was weird. I was, it was very strange to me. Um, you run into the, the monk? Monk? Yeah. No. Yeah, the monk. No. The fuck I have it? no idea what the point of the, that side mission was. It's no spoiler or anything. You just run into this monk, and he teaches you how to meditate. And you run into him like four or five different times, and that was it. He just teaches you to meditate. It seemed there was, I thought there would be like some weird, cool thing at the end of this, this mission, at, at, at the end of these four or five missions. And that, no, no, that was it. He just teaches you to meditate. Okay. Right? Did you ever run into the side mission where the, you have to, this dude wants you to help him kill a dude that's in prison? Dude wants to help you kill a dude that's in prison. Yeah, like, so ring a bell. you get contacted by one of the net by one of the the runner people, right? They're like, "Hey, I got this weird mission for you. This guy wants you to kill this dude, and he'll pay you, but he wants to go with you to do it. Like he wants there, he wants to be there when you do it. Mm-hmm. So you get a choice. Like when you get there, like, hey, I'll go with you, but like I'm not gonna do it, right? If you choose that one, yeah. apparently. He's like, well, I'll find someone else. So then if you choose what I did, you choose to do, to go with him. You're like, all right, well, you can go with me. I'll do it, right? When you get there, he's with he's being escorted by cops. So you're like, um, I'm good. Like, you can do whatever you want, but I'm not going to do this. The dude gets gunned down by the cops, right? <laughs> and I was like, yo, bro, I don't know this dude. Like, uh... I was just I'm Ubering. Just Uber. Yeah, like I'm not I don't know this dude, right? Well then then the cops are like, hey, so like or this girl this lady goes, Hey, so and so wants to talk to you and I was like, Wait, that's the dude that I was supposed to kill. And he's in like prison fatigue like a fr- prison jump. Oh, oh yes, I did do this one. That did you follow you followed it all the way through. Right? Yeah, dude, when he crucifies himself on the Yes for the fucking I, brain I for- scan? Yeah. I forgot that it start that, that mission started like that. Yeah. I was and you're just you're traveling with the cops and him to like somebody else's house and you're like why the hell am I even at this house sitting down at the table talking to this person while you you know you have the, the murder the guy who murdered the the sister's uh brother or yeah, something so, like that. yeah and then the mom shows up and she's the like get out of my house like, fuck out of there and yeah and you're, it's just like I don't know what the fuck is going on but I'm gonna see this through and it just kept getting weirder and weirder and weirder until he's being crucified in front of disco lights and you're like what the fuck did I just watch what the fuck did I just encourage this dude to do no matter what choice you made it seemed like you were gonna encourage him to crucify himself yeah as his death penalty as his death penalty did you did you choose to to put the nails in? Yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. I was up. like, I, I, I guess I'm gonna be included in this, and just like pound, 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 pound. Okay, walk around, pound, 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 and then you know, just the whole entire time, I think he's in, he's reciting something at that time, and I'm just sitting there thinking, this is fucking weird, man. Yeah, yeah. I ran in that same one, and I was like, this took a weird fucking turn for me being a. Well, whatever your life choice is to fucking helping this guy decide to crucify himself for a movie, mm-hmm. I was like, "God damn, what is wrong with you people?" But yet yeah. I did it, so I don't know who's who's at fault for being weirder. But I was like, "Well, this is fucked up, right?" And at the end of it, everyone's just standing around, just staring at him while he's up on the cross bleeding, and I was like. Y'all's gonna sit here. That's cool. I was like, so I'm just gonna like, leave right now. Yeah, I was like, back, the guys, fuck? I've got other stuff that I'm gonna go do because this is seriously weirding me out. Yeah, I was like, this is yeah. so strange. But you know, yeah. whatever. To to each their own, and yeah, I was. It was just so bizarre to me. I was like, this is where the fuck did this come from? 
I don't know, man. I don't know. How far are you in the story? Um, I just recruited Judy. Oh wow, you're that early? Jeez. Yeah, I told you. I just I cleared like all the side missions, thinking I'll just level myself up. But they have that weird like pseudo level cap. Mm-hmm. Where like it's not really a level cap because like enemies don't have levels like you do, which is a weird thing. But they just have areas where like you can't do that stuff yet because all of them just like just have red skulls. And yeah. I was like, I don't know what's going on about this. But the other thing too is, um, and I was talking to someone at work about this too. I think it was when I was at North Scottsdale. Um, doesn't it seem weird that? And I and I I brought up the like comparison to like Anthem of like there's lots of loot but it's the same loot you know what I mean like there seems to be a lot of guns but also I'm just getting the the same guns but eventually you just start seeing the same guns just like maybe better variants of them yeah and it's like well I just I don't need this anymore because I just. I'll just level up this one that I have that has all the attachments on it already. Unless that one has a different attachment that I can't take off for some reason. But I'm like, right. I don't really at the point, like like, I'm not even that far into the story and I'm already not picking shit up off the ground unless it's, you know, blue or purple. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm already at a fucking like rarity snob level. Of just like shit, like I don't know. It's weird. It was very strange. Wait until you get to the level where you're just like, well, I'm not really having fun with any of these guns. I want the legendary guns, and so I just started going after legendary guns. Uh, after after one point, because some of them literally in the game are are literally just yeah, just go here and pick it up. Yeah, off the ground. That's it. Go over there, kill that dude. There it is, right there. Cool. Uh, or one mission that uh, that was annoying but kind of funny at the same time. It was for the uh, for a rifle. I can't remember the Liberty rifle or something like that. It was the you know you have the six what, the what were they called the six street. I can't remember. It's the the Patriots Nationalists. Uh, oh yeah, and the like the it's, weird uh, stadium yeah. thing. Uh, it wasn't really a stadium thing. It was the. You, you meet them at their their headquarters. It just pops up as a side mission that you can do. And basically the point is, is that you have to get the highest score uh, of a shooting game while being drunk. Yeah. So you, you walk up to a shooting range, you take a shot, and then you have only a, a gun that they give you. And you have to hit so many targets, and then you move to the next area, take a shot, hit so many targets, move to the next area, take a shot, hit so many par- targets. It's relatively easy, I'll, and well, I say relatively easy because I, I, they don't really tell you what the max score that you have to beat is. I can't, I don't think they do. They just tell you how many possible score that you could get. So for me, I was like, well, I need to max out. I need to get every single one uh, in order to make sure that I can get this fucking gun that I want. Uh, but the game is obviously glitched. That while you're doing this, which should take you out of the rest of the world. Yes, you're shooting at these targets. Halfway through that that mission, the gang starts shooting at me because I'm shooting at these targets. So literally at the second station, take a shot, and I start shooting, and I just hear uh, somebody shouting, he's got a gun, and then just they just start like popping up all around me like red and just start shooting at me, and I'm like, what the fuck? What? No. I'm shooting at the targets. What the hell? Reload, do it again and it doesn't happen. I'm like this this game is this game's awful. Yeah, there's some things so it's like broken. so bad. But that gun was pretty badass cuz it's one of the it's one of the uh the the tracer one. Right? Yeah, one of the smart uh, smart yeah. ones. And uh I think the rounds were explosive as well yeah. or, or lit people on fire. So like, that's dope. Yeah, like I wanted, I I uh, I watched a video about that one where like, uh, apparently you can actually get the gun still without having to do the game. You just have to kill everybody. 
uh, I'd imagine. And it probably would at that point in time for me, it probably wouldn't have been too hard to do. Yeah. I yeah. was like, all right, well, whatever. Uh, I haven't done that one yet. Cause I, it's one of those ones like I was want to max my character out and then I'll go get it. Cause then it'll drop at that one. And I'm like, Oh, that'll be better. And I s- haven't gone back to do it. And I'm like, eh. And then after the whole like save issue, I was like, well, I'm going to wait a little while, you know, we'll just use the excuse if I don't have time to play the game. Right. Don't have time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, Joe knows what I'm talking about. Joe's picking up what I'm putting down. Mm-hmm. Coronavirus. Yeah, coronavirus. I once read a story about a guy who got the Rona. Yeah. So that's makes me not have time to play this game. Yep. That's what it was. Anyhow, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that's that. So, uh, I guess we'll just say, right. um, comes actually, we are. Go. I'm Cody. That's it for this week's episode, everybody. As usual, you fuckers just came naturally. Hey. Oh, fuck, it was 51 minutes. <laughs>